Hey there guys, Ecto Master here. It is Heroes Tuesday. So yes, that means time once again for another hero spotlight. And since we have a new hero, we're gonna take a look at Gen Greymane or King Greymane or whatever you want to call him. The guy who can become a worgen who isn't shown as a worgen here because he starts out as a guy. This is a hero spotlight, so we're gonna do our usual. We'll take a look at the skins, we'll take a look at the abilities. And we'll take a look at the talents by looking at, while looking at a talent build from HeroesNexus.com. The top rated talent build is what we're going to look at. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the skins because this is the easiest part. So this is base gray main. This is kind of what he looks like. Typically, sorry, a little bit of a fast turn there. Nope, go back. Oh, we can kind of look here. Whatever. It's a little more evil looking. This one kind of old looking. And we have his master skin, which is just supposed to be like a base and up of his mage main look. And then kind of, I love when you let go of it. It's like, okay, well. And then there's a ring master grain main, which is him as a, whoops, I clicked the wrong thing. Ring master. I love how it's red, white, and blue down below. I love how I grabbed it. This almost looks like from the uh, Wizard of Oz. And then, America, Grain Main. He shoots fireworks, doesn't he? Anyways, let's take a look at his abilities. So he is a ranged assassin, and his difficulty is hard. His Q, W, and E has different ones for different forms. So, for example, as a human, it's Gilnean Cocktail. It's an 80 mana cost with a 9 second cooldown. You hurl a flask that deals X damage to the first enemy hit and explodes for X damage to enemies in a cone behind them. As a worgen, it is called Razor Swipe. Swipe forward and damage enemies you pass through. Inner Beast. It's a 70 mana cost with a 16 second cooldown. Gain 50% attack speed for 3 seconds. Basic attacks refresh this duration. E is the Dark Flight. It's a 10 mana cost and a 6 second cooldown. Shape shift into a worgen and leap at an enemy dealing X damage. As a worgen, it is called Disengage. Roll away and shape shift into a human. And then his trait is Curse of the Worgen. Use certain abilities to shape shift between a human and a worgen. While human, your basic attack is ranged. While worgen, your basic attack is melee but deals 40% more damage. His heroics, and he's got two of them just like everybody else. Go for the third, which is one of the first, is the first choice. It's a 90 mana cost with a 60 second cooldown. Leap at an enemy hero and shape shift into a worgen, slashing it three times for X total damage. If this kills them, the ability can be used a second time within 10 seconds for free. And then marked for the kill. It's a 75 mana cost and a 60 second cooldown. Shape shift into a human and fire a shot hitting the first enemy hero for X damage. For 5 seconds they are vulnerable, taking 25% more damage. And you can reactivate this to leap at them and shape shift into a worgen. So one is used while you are a human, one is used while you are a worgen. I like that. It's kind of different. It's kind of new. So let's go ahead and take a look at the talents. Now like all of, all of our heroes, they have a... Uh, Lots of different talents, and as they have been doing it most recently, they have been specializing the talents a lot more because it is, well, it's getting a lot more specialized and unique. And Greymane is no different. So the build that we're going to look at is called OCM's Greymane. The OCM stands for the author of this, so it's of Clan Murray. It's He calls it build number one, rank one through 350. 3,500, 3, I don't know where else to come with 300, 3,500 MMR, which is matchmaking rank. So level one, you have the choice as a wolf heart. While inner beast is active, each basic attack lowers its cooldown by one second. Perfect aim increases Gilnean's cocktail range by 30% and refunds 60 mana if it hits an enemy hero. Scented tinct tincture. Gilnean Cocktail reveals enemy heroes for 10 seconds, and Viciousness increases Inner Beast duration to 4 seconds, and causes ability damage to refresh its duration. Now for this build, it recommends to go with Wolfheart as your first choice. 
Yay! And I left my email open. At level 4, you have a thick skin using Dark Flight reduces the damage of the next two heroic ba basic attacks made against you by 50% while a worgen. Eyes in the Dark, Disengage grants stealth for 4 seconds. Insatiable, Insatiable uh, Inner Beast causes basic attacks to restore 5 mana up to 120. And Drop Overflow. Increases Gildane's Cocktails Explosion Link by 35%. Now for this build, it says to go with Insatiable. Level 7, you have Quicksilver Bullets. Increases Human Basic Attack Range by 20%. Incendiary Elixir, Gildane Cocktail deals 200% more damage to the enemy it impacts and explodes even if it misses. And then Wizened Duelist. Your takedowns increase basic attack damage by 3% to a maximum, maximum of 30%. This bonus is lost on deck, but that is the one they recommend to go with. At level 10, it says to go, go for, go for the throat, or go with, go for the throat. We already discussed that, so we're not gonna linger. Level 13, you have Running Wild, increases Dark Flight and disengages range by 35%. Visceral attacks, worgen basic attacks, reduce razor swipes cooldown by one second. On the prowl, inner beast increases your movement speed by 30% once it has been active for three seconds. An unfettered assault, razor swipe lunges gray main 60% further, but its cooldown is increased by 33%. For this build, it says to go with on the prowl. At level 16, you have concentrated blast. Increases Gildane Cocktail's damage by 80% while Inner Peace is active. Relentless Predator reduces the duration of its of silences, stuns, slows, roots, and polymorphs against you by 75% while in Worgen form. Executioner is one that we've seen with others, but Alpha Killer is not. Worgen basic attacks. Against heroes, deal bonus damage equal to 3% of the hero's maximum health. And that, for this build, it says to go with Relentless Predator. At level 20, you have quite a few that you can choose from. Now, if you wanted to stay with this build, it says to go with Tooth and Claw. Worgen basic attacks cleave for 100% damage. But, if you wanted to follow stay with what you have, which was Go For The Throat, you have Unleashed. If the free cast of Go For The Throat kills its target, another free cast is provided. So you could get almost like a triple kill just by using Go For The Throat. Now, if you really wanted to be different and you wanted to try Mark For The Kill, you have Gilnean Roulette. Mark For The Kill passes through enemy heroes, making all of them vulnerable and allowing Leap to be used on each marked target once. The closest target is preferred. If you really wanted the buck trend, we also have Hunter's Blunderbuss. Human basic attacks splash for 100% damage behind the target. And there you have it, guys. That is the Hero Spotlight for this hero. We'll be back with another Hero Spotlight once we get another hero out. As always, it's Heroes Tuesday, and I am Ectomaster. So if you haven't seen these before, do subscribe, like, favorite, comment, do all the fun stuff down below. Really do appreciate it. And as always, we'll be back next time with more Heroes Tuesday. Until then, again, I am Ectomaster, and I will see you in the next round.